but this just in oh yo you already know it's lit it's lit it's lit so this company called wish labs right so <laughs> interestingly enough they've created something to where you can relive your memories imagine being able right to create a memory and then just relive that thing now this reminds me of some freaky sci-fi stuff of people like you know, put in their memories inside of these computer brains and things like that. Matter of fact, the whole thing is weird. Well, I'm going to go ahead and roll the clip. It's about to get lit, man. Hey, 2023 is about to be an interesting uh, year for sure. we could feel him moving but it was very cool to see him moving he's very active now nah, watch this though remember. he does such good tummy time Freaky. A lot of freaky science uh, experiment stuff going on. But, you know, in the future, <laughs> this technology is only going to get better. All right. Nice. And yeah, people will definitely be reliving their memories, reliving their experiences. You know, a time at the theme park with grandma, a time at, you know, the house with the dog, a time with shit, a time with anyone, you know what I'm saying? A time with a loved one, a time with, you know, two. <laughs> I just know that you know, there's going to be some dark uses of this technology, too. And um, hopefully uh, they just don't abuse it. Now on this just in Hogwarts actually becomes one of Warner Brothers top selling game. It's the best selling game right now, doing over eight hundred and fifty million dollars in sales. That's 12 million units. You know, there's only a few games that, you know, reach peaks like this Well, one of those games being uh, one of my favorite games, which is Grand Theft Auto 5, it hit, what is that, like $10 billion in three days. In three days for a video game. It's insane. That was the best selling game of all time. And then the other game that had this type of impact or output was Modern Warfare 2, which also did um, about $10 billion. I think that took like, you know, uh, nine or 10 days or something like that. But, you know, interestingly enough, gaming is just insane for today and this advancements of where it's actually going now i've played this hogwarts legacy and let me tell you the storyline in here is extremely powerful like you know i didn't even want to get off the game i knew i had to wake up in the morning you know what i mean and come and do this show but i was playing this thing all last night you know so definitely i would say check out this game i i'm not gonna say i'm the biggest harry potter fan but i like this game i like storylines and things with storylines so i can see how a game like this would beat the hype and do 12 million units pushed. It's lit. You feel me? The game, uh, the, the companies did a great job of putting this thing together. All right. All right. Now, this just in. So, is the DJ's job at risk? Yeah, interesting question. So, Spotify is testing a uh, new AI DJ feature. And apparently, this DJ knows exactly what you like. I mean, it studied you, or at least the data that you've uh, given it. Now, I think this technology is quite interesting, say to speak, because imagine you in the kitchen, you're just doing your thing, and, you know, a song comes on that you really didn't feel like hearing. That's associated with a memory. But uh, you know what? Let's just go ahead and play this thing on back real quick and see how technology is just taking over. Hey, Max, what's going on? I'm X, and from this moment on, I'm going to be your own personal AI DJ on Spotify. Let's go. Up next, I know you've been on a summer song kick lately, so I went back for some of your old summertime favorites. This Let's is see just if it wild. You up. Next up, some of the music you had on a lot back in 2018. Do you think of me? Walk 
walking out there. All right, Max, let's get you out of your feels and switch up the vibe. Okay. You've been into dance music lately. I got this brand new release to get you moving. Introducing DJ, the best of Spotify made just for you on Tap Away. Powered by AI, delivered by me, your very own DJ. Now, you know, interestingly enough, I actually think that's a cool feature, though, you know, um, a DJ that's just mixing things for, that you like. Like you said, let's take it back to the 90s. Let's take it back here. It's kind of like a playlist that's just, you know, doing playlist things. I do feel like the technology will be abused like, you know, usual. But um, I'm looking to see the advancements of this and where it's actually going. I feel like this is just the, you know, introduction of this AI DJ at Spotify. But, you know, obviously, by the time we've seen it, this is just a rough copy of something that they have bigger plan. You know what I mean? All right. Now, this just is. Oh, yeah. You know what that sound is? That's the sound of money. Now, Roblox, you know, <laughs> definitely a money grab. I was playing Roblox with my daughter the other day. And um, as I'm just walking around, I'm just running. I don't know how she kept getting back to the store. But I was in the store almost the whole time I was playing. I'm talking about everything I'm running into. It cost me something. I'm like, this is insane, right? But um, I'm really into the technology side of games. So Roblox, just like Microsoft, has introduced this text to AI type of you know concept. But Roblox is a little more, I would say, um, like a GTA 5 mod menu. Now, if you guys know anything about those Grand Theft Auto lobbies, they can get toxic. Now, imagine giving five-year-olds the same Grand Theft Auto mod menu, except they can type this stuff in. So, you know, when a kid gets mad, he's like, oh, yeah, well, I'm going to make my car. Oh, yeah, bro, about to go in on you. So by the time he get finished describing that car, boy, <laughs> yeah, all I got to say is watch this video because it's about to get crazy. Yeah. Now, you know, when I watched that video, the craziest part about that is this came from the official Roblox page. Nice. This isn't a mod. This is next level. But there was also a user who had used chat GPT to create some sort of script. And um, I'm going to go ahead and play this. A YouTuber, I'm going to go ahead and play it, right? He was using this weird script, and um, the script auto-corrected itself and made his game better. And we're about to watch that in action. Let's look at this. Look, it's in rotation and everything, right? And uh, this is all this, right? Right? But then look at this. Look at this. And AI made this. AI could take me, like, weeks to figure this out. It could take me months. But it's, oh, my, oh, my God, bro. All right, you want to know the funny thing? Um, if I click, you can tell that the part isn't actually based on the player. It's just, it's just, it's just like that, right? Now, here's the funny part. I asked the AI if they could fix it. All right, let me just uh, paste it in there. Are you ready? Look at this. It, it fixed the problem. It, it's fixed. <laughs> just quit on programming. All right, now that video was insane from Microfox. And, you know, when I take a look at that video, just to see the inner workings of chat GPT and what it can actually do, like it's programming video games. So we've watched an AI program itself in a video game. Now, obviously, these programs exist, but it was the self-correction. It was to see it's basically self-correct the error that it made. I think that's a, a great advancement for technology. You know what I mean? Now, hey, man, it's your boy, Ty. Definitely, you know the spot to get the hottest news because not only are we going to give it to you the hottest, I'm going to make sure that it's correct, too. I don't want to just uh, bore y'all with nothing that's facts. I like to be thoroughly researched. Every Monday, make sure I catch a new episode. And let's get it popping.